outside prison. As the court pleases me. As the court pleases, we indicated to Advocate Nsholola that we, 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 we not opposed to the request in, in the circumstances. So you made the, the certainty that you will be here tomorrow or? You can't guarantee that. Mr. Nsholola. Yes, my lord, it will depend from, from, from the medical advice after they've, they've taken him to the hospital inside prison, my lord. Maybe I can just make follow-up. Uh, we are aware of section 159 of the Criminal Procedure Act that, where's the, where's the, let's read it so that uh, people mustn't think we're we wasting time. Section 159. Just read, read all of it. Okay, God pleases. Section 159 of the Criminal Procedure Act 51 of 1977, and the heading is Circumstances in which criminal proceedings may take place in the absence of an accused. Subsection 159, so the section 159, subsection 1. If an accused at criminal proceedings conducts himself in a manner which makes the continuance of the proceedings in his presence impracticable, the court may direct that he be removed and that the proceedings continue in, in his absence. Subsection 2, which is applicable in the current uh, matter, if two or more accused appear jointly at criminal proceedings and subparagraph A, the court is at any time after the commencement of the proceedings satisfied upon application made to it by any accused in person or by his representative, Roman figure one, that the physical condition of that accused is such that he is unable to attend the proceedings or that it is undesirable that he should attend the proceedings or, Roman figure two, that circumstances relating to the illness or death of a member of the family of that accused make his absence from the proceedings necessary or, subparagraph B, any of the accused is absent from the proceedings, whether under the provisions of subsection 1 or without leave of the court. The court, if it is of the opinion that the proceedings cannot be postponed without undue prejudice, embarrassment, or inconvenience to the prosecution, or any of the accused or any witness in attendance or subpoenaed to, to attend may, Subparagraph AA. In the case of uh, paragraph A, authorize the absence of the accused consent from the proceedings for a period determined by the court and on the conditions which the court may deem <coughs> fit to impose. And subparagraph BB direct that the proceedings be proceeded with in the absence of the accused concerned. And subparagraph three, um, I, I don't think this is applicable, but I'll read it as well. Um, where an accused becomes absent from the proceedings in the circumstances referred to in subsection two, the court may in lieu of directing that the proceedings be proceeded with in the absence of the accused concerned upon the application of the prosecution, direct that the proceedings in respect of the absent accused be separated from the proceedings in respect of the accused who are present, and thereafter, when such accused is again in attendance, the proceedings against him shall continue from the stage at which he became absent and the court shall not be required to be differently constituted merely by reason of such separation. Then subsection four, if an accused who is in custody in terms of an order of court cannot by reason of his physical indisposition or other physical condition 
be brought before court for the purpose of obtaining an order for his further detention, the court before which the accused would have been brought for purposes of such an order, if it were not for the indisposition or other condition may, upon applica application made by the prosecution at any time prior to the expiry of the order for his det detention, where in the circumstances surrounding the indisposition or other condition are set out, supported by a certificate from a medical practitioner, order in the absence of such an accused that he be detained at a place indicated by the court for the period which the court deems necessary in order that he can recover and be brought before the court so that in order for his further detention for the purpose of this trial can be obtained. Um, th 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 that is yeah. the end of uh, section 159, my lord. Okay, fine. Mr. Mishololo, so who's going to be giving your client medical assistance? My lord, it's the medical mm. facility that is uh, provided at a Loikop prison. Okay, where, where are the orders? from Lokop. Can you please come forward? No, no, he doesn't have to. I'm told that there is a, a hospital facility at Lokop. Yeah, uh, in the facility. And are there doctors? daily or the doctors come interspersed with their shifts yeah, or what yeah. is the position the, they are, there's always uh, sisters doctors come on certain days but when we have a situation we take them to outside hospital if i make an order that accused five should be attended by a doctor will you give it to the head of the prison What's his name? Is still Mr. Mazbubo. Oh, who's the head of the prison there? Mr. <coughs> Zondo. Yeah, sorry, Zondo. Yeah, because I don't want this gentleman to go to look up and be given tablets and castor oil. <laughs> he must be attended by a doctor. Can, can please all of you draft an order to that effect that your client should be attended by a doctor starting from today at low cop okay As the court is yeah can you prepare an doctor. order to that effect all of you and then i'll make it an order of court and will you take it then to the head of the prison please go and give it to a secretary or what okay right okay the court will adjourn until the order is prepared mm -hmm.